Do you tend to get lost in a sea full of files on your Canva account? Well, these 10 simple tips are going to help you stay organized and save time. Let's start with tip number one. If you didn't know, in Canva you can organize your files in folders. And where do you have the folders and how do you create them? When you go to Canva's homepage, you will see something like this. You will have a view of your recent designs, but if you go to the left panel and select projects, from here you'll be able to create new folders. And once you have folders, you'll be able to view them from here. Now, to create a new folder you're going to click on this button that says add new and then folder from here you can give a name to your folder you can then if you want share this folder with people in your team and then to create the folder click continue and now that you know how to create folders you can start sorting your designs into different folders <laughs> and another extra tip is that you can create folders inside folders so let's go to this one that i just created once inside a folder you can go again and click add new and add another folder here so this will be a sub folder and then I'm gonna hit continue now let me go back to projects to show you that the folder that we just created is here and we have one item inside that item is actually the subfolder that I just created and now we are ready to start organizing our files into these folders but how do we do this? Let me show you a quick tip to sort these files really quickly. You're gonna go to folders, we are already here, and you will see that you can navigate the project section or the projects page by clicking on this option. So we are located in the old section, but you can go to folders, designs, and so on. Now, how do you add these designs into a folder that you just created? You can simply hover your mouse on top of any design sign and then click on these three dots. From here you'll have the option to move to a folder. Click here and then you can find your folder under recent or you can simply search for the folder. So let me search for tutorial folder which is the one that I just created. It is this one. You can select the folder and then if you want your design to go to that folder simply click move to folder or if you want this design to go into a subfolder select that folder and then move to folder. If you want to move several designs at once you can hover your mouse and select the designs you want to move. You will see this little window appearing at the bottom of your screen. You're going to click on this folder icon and then you're going to select the folder that you want. Now let me show you a cool trick for you to select multiple designs really quick. Instead of selecting every single design with this checkbox, you can drag your mouse and select all of the designs that you want to move to a folder and then you can follow the same steps. Click on the folder icon and then select the folder that you want. And here's something important that I want to mention about this trick, you know, like dragging your mouse to select several documents at once. This trick only works if if you are inside projects. If you are located in home, if you drag your mouse, you won't be able to select multiple designs at once. Now that you're going to start working with folders, you're going to see yourself reaching to certain folders again and again. This is my case and it happens that I go to certain folders every single day and sometimes multiple times per day. So I'm going to show you a trick for you to have easy access to certain folders and to certain designs. Once you are in the homepage, you are going to make sure that you have this menu open. If you don't have it open click on these three lines now to create an easy access to any design you are going to hover on your design and then click on this star that you're seeing here once you click on this arrow pay attention to this menu on the left hand side i'm going to click on the star now and you see that there is a new section called you start that means the documents or folders that you have started and then once you are in your canva homepage instead of scrolling through hundreds or maybe 
will be thousands of designs. You can simply go to this menu, click on your design, and then you have instant access to it. Now, let me go to projects because you also have the same star on folders. So if I click on this star, you will see that the folder automatically appears in the same section. And even if you are in the homepage, you will have access to that folder. And you can also create sections on this menu. If you click on this plus icon, you'll be able to create a new section under your start. You can add a name to the section. So let me call this one new documents. And then what I find pretty nice is that you can add emojis to these sections. So let me click here to add an emoji and I'm going to add a star like this one and then hit enter. And now I have a new section here. This is going to be helpful if you see that at some point you have a lot of designs on this menu and it's making your life a little bit difficult. And to add designs or folders to this section, you simply need to drag them to the section and they'll be added automatically. You can also reorganize the position of these elements by moving them like this and you can add more documents by simply dragging them to the section. You can have multiple sections and you can keep them open or you can collapse them if you want. On tip number five, I have a tool that will allow you to organize your designs or your files a little bit faster. We're going to go to projects to be able to access this tool, which is located on the right hand side. And it is this little button right here. And at the moment I'm viewing all of the files. I'm here located in all, but let's go to designs so you can see how this tool works a little bit better. So at the moment I'm seeing all of my designs as a grid view and when you click on this button you then see your designs or files as a list. I like this tool because when I'm seeing my designs in this kind of view as a list I'm able to see or read the title of my documents a little bit better. I can see the people who has access to the design, the type of document in this case because we are inside designs and we can see the last time we edited this design. We also see if if they are favorite and we still have access to the menu on each design. Now let me go again to the grid view because you still have access to all of this information when you are here but it's not so easy to see. If you want to see which of these documents have been favorite you have to hover on top to be able to see if the document has been started. And as you can see you can only read a little section of the name of each design. And now let's go to tip number six because I believe this tool is also related to how you see or you sort your documents and designs. And this tool is actually next to the one that we just saw. It is this one. This is the sort by and when you click on this little arrow you can see that you can sort your designs by most relevant, newest edited, oldest edited, alphabetical A to Z or Z to A. In this Canva account that I have opened at the moment, I do not have too many designs or too many images. So let me go and open another Canva account in which I have more designs and I can show you better how this tool works. Okay, I'm here using a different Canva account. I'm in the projects section and I'm under images. Now you can see here I have the sort by and I can sort all of these elements by newest and oldest if I want. Like this, I can see all Old images that I have uploaded to Canva and that I no longer use. So for example these two images I don't need them, I select them and I'm gonna move them to trash and like this I will start cleaning up my Canva account. You can do this with images, you can also do this with designs. You can see it is already sorted by oldest first. We have pretty old documents in here that are actually nine year old and you can also do this with the videos. 
If you're somebody like me who uses Canva on a daily basis and has a ton of different Canva documents and you have uploaded a lot of images and videos, you are going to love this trick. If you didn't know, you can use the search bar on top of the screen, not only to search for templates in the Canva library, but also to search for your own content. So let me show you how to do this. Let's say that I need to find a design that has my name. I'm gonna type Diana and then you will see that right below your search you have the option to select Canva templates so you'll be searching for Canva templates with this keyword or you can search on all of your content this is what I want so I'm clicking on this second option and then select search for Diana and now you can see all of the designs folders images and videos with this keyword which is actually my name And this takes me to tip number eight, which is to rename and to give special tags to your content. For this, you're gonna go either to home or to project. I'm gonna go to projects. And now that I am here under images, you see that these images, they didn't appear in my previous search result, even though I see myself in here. What about if I actually wanted to find these images while searching for them? This is actually going to be impossible because as you can see these images do not have my name in the title the name of the image and if I click on the three dots and see the tags the tags do not have my name to fix this you can change the name of your images by clicking on this little pencil you're gonna type your new name and then hit enter and if you want to add some tags which I do recommend you're gonna click on the three dots go to view tags and from here you can add or you can also edit the the tags that were automatically given to them so i'm actually going to delete this because these really don't describe my photo quite well i want them to have my name so i'm going to add the tag diana hit enter and if you want you can continue adding some more tags and then hit save now i'm going to do a quick test in here i'm going to go again and search for this photo i'm going to go to the search bar i am already searching in all of my content and i'm going to search for diana in coffee shop hit enter and now when i go down to images i can see the photo that i just renamed on tip number nine i have a tool that is relatively new in canva this tool will allow you to delete your documents inside the editor so we already know that if you want to delete a document you can simply go on top of your document click on the three dots and then you have the option to move to trash if you go to projects and you select multiple elements you also have the option to delete them from here but what happens happens if you go to templates and you find something that you like you open the template on the editor you start editing the design and then you realize that you actually won't be using this design instead of leaving this editor and going back to the home page and doing something else you're gonna go to file and you'll be able to move this document to trash this is actually pretty useful and I have used it a lot lately because I tend to create new documents and then not having to use them anymore so I simply click here and this allows me to keep my account a little bit more organized and clutter free okay so you're gonna get this little window and you're going to click move to trash which is going to take you back to the home page and on tip number 10 i have a little trick that has saved me a couple of times for this you are going back again to projects and from here move to the bottom of the screen and find this button called trash if you have deleted a design image or video by accident you can come to this area to the trash area and restore any document that you have deleted on the last 30 days you'll see this message here you'll have 
30 days to restore them before they are automatically deleted from your trash. So you can see that I have here my designs, images, videos, and if I go to designs and I try to restore this document here, I'm going to click on the three dots and then simply hit restore. You can see that the document has been moved to the projects section. And now that we are here, if you want to actually delete a document even from the trash area, you can click on the three dots and hit delete from trash. You will get this window that is going to ask you one more time. You are about to delete this document from trash. This can't be undone. You are then going to click delete from trash. Now I have a question to ask you. Which of all of the tips I gave you in this video you learned or discovered for the first time today? Also, it's pretty important for us to know if you enjoy this kind of content. So if you did, please leave us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. To keep learning about Canva, consider checking our Canva master course in here. I'm gonna leave the link in the description as well. And I'm gonna leave here a tutorial I'm sure you are going to love. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!